traders. Um, June twentieth, it's a uh, federal holiday here in the states, so the markets are closed. I finished the FEG video, so everybody should have access to the fair value gap indicator that John released. I will post a video. It's probably sometime tomorrow. I did it yesterday, but let's talk about VTC quickly because I need to head out again. Um, we're on a weekly demand. The reason why I was gun holed about the longs is because you don't really get an opportunity to long a weekly demand. So usually what I like to see even on a 12 hour time frame or daily time frame is I want to pay demand to demand, right? And then hope for a higher low. And then this higher low doesn't pan out and we go for a dip play. I'll just relong the dip play and then I'll target a little bit higher around $40,000 to give you back, to get you back up to here. Right? So. It's a one to one play where you have your low, you have your high, and then you come back down and you hope for a higher low with your invalidation being X. If you do happen to get stopped out and you get invalidated because you know where your stop loss is, then unfortunately you're going for a weekly div play. And that's going to offer a bigger move up. So you'll make up some of the losses on the way up. No one's telling you to knife catch, everyone's telling you to wait for confirmation. But when you are on a weekly demand, like where we were over here, any altcoin you buy, it's going to do a significant move. So now let's go to, let's go to some old course to show you guys why I was going to hold about going long. Uh, so for example, right from the opportunity here, I know a lot of demand over here. Can you go to the two day daily? All right. So, so for example, right. Um, no one knife catches. And if you're not knife caught, you probably didn't go wick to wick, but if you go to a lower time frame and see the moves that this thing did. This thing did even in the higher low, this thing did roughly about a 30% move back to back, right? 30% move back to back. So old coins still are the better option in my perspective when it comes to trading right now, because the scalps and the alts are giving you 20, 30% rip. So if you're playing with like 10 or 15 K, you're making at least three K, even if you don't grab bottom to top, you make a minimum two K. Say you only get the 20% out of this because you didn't grab bottom to top. It's still a significant move, guys. Um, so I, I'm not too, I'm not too obsessed with, with how BTC is acting right now. Fuck BTC. Old coins still got the better RR in my perspective. Yeah, they dump harder, but they also run harder. Okay. Go back to BTC. Go to your lower time frame real, real quick. Open up. You don't have this yet, but hopefully you have it. So weekly, previous weekly <clears throat> range. Let's open up the Monday. Monday is more important. So previous Monday highs should be somewhere around here. 27. Come on, man. Where are you? Where is this thing right now? Did it open up? Oh, I'm right here. Yeah, there we go. Previous Monday high is 26,940. Previous Monday mid is 24.4. And the previous Monday low, which is the important low, is 21.9. So I personally think whatever move we get up to here, let's get rid of these other ones because we don't really need the current high, the current low, and the current mid. Get rid of that. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so I think that whatever move we get back into that 21.9, 21.8, so if we do something like this, cool. But if we do something like this where we reclaim this, your TP1 is going to be Monday mid, which is 24.4, and your TP2 is going to be up here. Guarantee it, man. Guarantee it, dude. Like this, this, this whole dump that took place from 27, 7, 27, 8, this big consolidation range. Even if you zoom out, right? And you just put a little bit of, do this one here and then put another one right there, right? So 27.4 to 27.8. This whole dump that took place was so fucking controlled because the old, I remember this, the old coins were holding until we got to somewhere over here. That's when they really collapsed. So this is just crazy. The, 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 the idea that they could just, instantly just drop BTC down to freaking $19,000 out of nowhere. Right. Um, but that's what I'm looking at right now to reclaim the old Monday range and play Monday low to Monday high overall. Now on the lower time frame, if you get rid of this, you want to assume that you do not break under roughly about 18,730. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you had a double, uh, a double over under at that range, right? Um, you had the FEG, let's go back a little bit. I'm going a little fast. I know I'm sorry guys, but I got to head out. You had the FEG sitting roughly at 19.5 all the way up until 20,371. You see this? This is a legit FEG, man. Legit. The rest are fucking nonsense. This is legit. So once you fill this, you know that anytime the price goes back in here, if it breaks back under, we're like the resistance. So you want to hope that 19.5. 
sticks on a higher time frame and you don't go down to 18.5 for too long, right? You want to wick down there, but you want a candle close back into that 19.5 area. So you could do something along the lines of this and say, you know what? I don't want to break on the 19.5. And now you could just put press play. Let's get rid of the Oops, press play, get rid of this. Who cares? I get rid of this. Okay. So this is what I'm working with. I do not want to get candle closes under 18.7, but I do not want to get a weekly close under 19.5 under no circumstances, guys. I do not. So I personally think that this whole thing is going to collapse because this is just a grind up and it looks terrible. So something along the lines of come down, go up, down, up, refill, and then go to the top side. And this is more, on, uh, more of the micro bearish scenario and then head back up. I still think there's more upside potential, which was gonna give us a lot, a lot of opportunities to buy some old coins. But in, in the event that you do not break down and you do happen to just break to the top side, you want to assume that any move up above 21.5 is probably going to take you just to take all this up here. This liquidity one and this liquidity two up here. Come on, man, right there, right? Just looking at price action without really doing anything with indicators and stuff like that. Um, can I get rid of this? Open up your TMA, TMA bands and go to your two day. I think it was two day. No, it wasn't. I think it was in the 12 hour. I forgot which one I saw on my mobile. 12 hour. Yeah. 12 hour. 12 hour teammate mid. So you see how we really haven't broken structure on the higher time frame, but on the lower time frame, we broke structure to the top side. And I wasn't even here. I think it was the one hour. Yeah. The one hour. We broke structure to the top side. But if you look at it from like a four hour or 12 hour pers perspective, we're still sub structure right we really haven't done much now if you go to your 12 hour regardless of where we go hold on let me put it over here regardless of where we go no matter what happens we're going to get capped by this mid so that the longer this this takes to break to the top side and get back into the old range that we're in this 12 hour mid is going to keep going to the downside and it's going to give us a pretty big slack if you're talking about indicators right scratch the price action for a second just talking about indicators so there's so much shit above us that it's not going to be as easy as hey we just took liquidity let's go back to the top side i personally think within the next roughly about 30 days we're going to be grinding up to twenty eight thousand dollars, and and i'm going to put my money where my is and i'm going to end up longing the next the next dip pretty hard so my my range is 26 to thirty eight thousand with a mid being 28k with this being the low to bring us to the top side um is it going to stick? I don't know, but I'm trying to buy every single, every single dump that we have within the next, maybe, I don't know, week or so back down in hopes that that is going to be the low. But again, you need to consolidate it. You need to rage exactly what I posted on Twitter. This is going to be a beautiful opportunity to create around the bottom here. Just consolidate for about a week or two or three or four weeks. Doesn't matter. I don't know how long it's going to take, but any move up, any move down, create a nice set of big range for us to play in oscillator wise, the daily. I said it in the Discord for you guys. It needs to active uh, algo fire. This thing needs to turn orange. And the only way it turns orange is if we get a pump. And if we get a pump back up to 24 or 26 or 28,000, I personally think once we see a daily algo fire, it's going to result into a dump. And then we need to hope that that dump is a higher low and not a lower low. So nevertheless, um, the weekly is still the main plane here for the PTT. As you could tell how everything is just like contracting and consolidating very, very tightly. See how we're all like just contracting to the downside. Once we get this third cross to the top side, I'm going to guarantee myself that it's going to be a move back to mid. And then this is going to be one of those Aussie breakouts. So we have your first top, you have your first bottom, your second top, you have your second bottom, then you have your third top. And now this is going to be your make or break. So if this is going to break up to the top side, guys, it's going to be a massive move. Fucking phenomenal move. If this is not going to break to the top side and it breaks to the downside, unfortunately, we're going to get into a prolonged bear market because this is a weekly time frame. And these things from bottom to top take a long time. You're talking about roughly about, say, three to six months, right? Look at this bottom. June. We had a bottom in June. And then we tapped out in October. Do the math. How many months is that? June, July, August, September, October. Four months. Same thing with this, four months between January and April, right? Five months, well, almost end of April. So this next move on the weekly and the PTT is going to be very significant. And given the fact that the trend line is still pointing to the downside, it's kind of fucking scary because that's very bearish. Ideally, what you want to see is a flip where you want to see the trend line going to the top side. I'm always looking at the blue line when it comes to the MSTX for actual position trading. 
like long term position trade. This blue line still pointing down, guys. This is bullish. This is bearish. This is bearish. You see how the blue line points down? Bearish. Blue line is going up. Bullish. So by the time this bad boy on this side resets to go up and to do something like this, Jesus, you know, maybe like fucking a year could pass by. It's a weekly time frame. On, on the lower side, though, on the lower time frame, the daily, for example, and get rid of all this. The daily is setting up for that move to the mid, which should offer a decent potential. Say, I'm assuming a two x across the whole board when it comes to the altcoins. Actually, minimum two x. So, guys, that's how I'm playing BTC. Be very careful. I'm not telling you that the bottom is in locally. Yeah, I think it is. Macro wise, no way. I have no 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 hopes about this being a macro bottom. Um, and let's see what happens in the upcoming days. I still think that we have. That we have to be a little bit concerned in case we do go for that div play down to like that ten or thirteen thousand dollar range. And in the event that we do happen to go for that div play, guys, you know what to target, right? If we do happen to go for that div play, we're gonna go straight for that thirty five, thirty six k range around there. If we go for that div play, if not, and we grind up from here, the target is still twenty eight thousand dollars, guys. Twenty eight k. I'm targeting twenty eight thousand dollars. I'm gonna write it here. 28k it's target if local low in if gold for did play 30 or to 36. this is basically 101 guys weekly demand you can't really neglect it we're sitting on that weekly demand over here this is too beautiful this opportunity doesn't come off then we it's the last time we've been here was like 2020 so i would love to see a reaction to the top side come back down and do something like that this will be beautiful this is my bullish scenario and i will stick to my plan i don't care if it doesn't pan out i'm still gonna buy it or if we do happen to go down one more and go down to this area and then go to the top side so let's go over here let's go over here let's make this uh Let's make that red and let's make this a different color green. Okay, guys. I'm going to put this in Discord. Cheers. Any questions, please feel free to DM me. Again, if you do not have the FEG indicator, just DM me, guys. Trade safe. I'll make another video on a Wednesday when the new Wednesday low gets put in place. Again, guys, you saw it firsthand. Wednesday range worked. Once we swapped it, the altcoins ran. Put it on your chart, guys. Put Wednesday range on your chart and see what happens. Cheers.